Hello, dear students. I hope you're all doing great. Let me introduce you to Tony. This is Tony. He is writing a message to his best friends. These are Tony's best friends. The question is, what's in Tony's message? Well, we will find out. This is Tony's message. You can pause the video and read it. Great. Now, is this message an email or an informal letter? Choose the correct answer. Great. This message is not an email. It is an informal letter. And why is that? It's because Tony is sending the letter to his best friend. So remember, we send informal letters to our family and friends, which means people we know better. Actually, we mentioned before that every part of a letter has a specific name. For example, the letter in front of you has the following parts. We have greeting, asking, date, address, topic, signing off, purpose, name, and closing. Pause the video and match each element with its appropriate part of the letter. Good job. So this is the address, this is the date, and this is the greeting. This is asking about the person, the purpose of the letter, topic of the letter, closing, signing off, and name. So these are the elements of an informal letter. So actually, this guy Tony, he loves writing letters. For example, when he wants to advise a friend, invite someone to a party, congratulate a friend, or apologize, he writes this type of letters to his best friends or family members or people that he knows better. And these are actually the common topics for informal letters. But sometimes, Tony would like to apply for a job, inquire information, complain about something, or ask for help. So he writes another type of letters, and this type of letters, he does not send them to his family or his best friends. He sends them to administrations. Now the question is, how does Tony write this type of letters? And what is the difference between these letters that Tony sends to administrations and the letters that he sends to his family or best friends? We will answer all your questions in this video. That's why, after watching this video, you will be able to identify the elements of a formal letter, organize the elements of a formal letter, write a formal letter to Greece, Greenpeace organization complaining about pollution in your area. I wish you the best of luck, dear students, and let's get started. So this is an example of a letter that Tony wrote. Pause the video, read the letter, and answer this question. Why is Tony writing this letter? Good. Now I will read the letter for you and we will answer this question. Mr. Tony, 90 Marrakesh Street, Marrakesh, Morocco, March 24th, 2020, Moroccan Travel Agency, 99 Mohammed 5th Avenue, Casablanca. Dear Sir or Madam, we say Dear Sir or Madam if we don't know the name of the person. I'm writing this letter to inquire about the trip to Merzuga next August. So, as you can see, Tony says, I am writing this letter to inquire about the trip to Merzuga next August. So, why is Tony writing this letter? He is writing the letter to inquire about the trip to Merzuga next August. So, this is the answer to the first question. Uh, let's go back to the letter. First, what are the exact dates of the tour. Second, what is the price of the tickets? What about accommodation? Are we going to stay in a hotel or bivouacs? For bivouacs, this is a picture of bivouacs, as you can see here. So Tony is asking, are we going to stay in a hotel or bivouacs? Besides, I would like to know the activities that we can do there. Please contact me at the above address or email me at englishwithsimo at gmail.com. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Tony. Now, like we mentioned before, letters always have certain parts and each part has its own name. Now, this is an example of a formal letter. These are the elements of a formal letter. Pause the video and match these elements with the appropriate parts of the letter. Good. 
Good job. So the first one, it is the sender's name, Mr. Tony. Then we have the sender's address. Then we have the date. This is receiver's address. Greeting. Purpose of the letter. Body of the letter. This is contact information. And here we have closing the letter, signing off and the name or a signature. So these are the elements of a formal letter. Now let's do some practice exercises. So in this first exercise, we will review the layout and elements of a formal letter. These are the elements of a formal letter and this is the layout. Pause the video and put each letter element in the appropriate place. Good job. So this is in here we have sender's name and here we have sender's address, date, then we have receiver's address, greeting, purpose of the letter, which means why are you writing the letter. This is the body of the letter. Everything in here is the body of the letter. Then we have closing the letter. After that, there is signing off. Finally, there is name and signature. So these are the elements of a formal letter in the appropriate places of the layout. Let's move to the second exercise. In this exercise, you have to organize this scrambled letter. These are parts of a letter. They are scrambled and you have to organize them in this paper. Pause the video and try this exercise yourself. Good. So first of all, we have this should go here. Then we have the date should go here because this is the address. Then we have the receiver's address. It should go below the date. Then we have greeting, dear sir or madam. Then we have, I am writing this letter to, this is the purpose of the letter. And there is the body of the letter, the biggest part of the letter. Then there is closing of the letter. Then there is this uh, signing off. And then the name or signature. So these are the parts of the formal letter and good job because you're such an intelligent student so now that we know the elements of a formal letter and the layout let's write one ourselves first we'll need a topic to write about so this is the topic write a letter of complaint to Greenpeace International Organization about the situation of environment in your city include some suggestions that may help in protecting the environment so in this task you will need to do two things first you will need to describe the situation of environment in your city and then your suggestions to protect the environment i'll give you some pictures that will help you come up with ideas so for the situation of environment in your city these pictures will help you come up with the, some ideas pause the video take a pen and a paper and write the ideas that you see in the picture Good job. So in the first one we have, for example, the streets in my city are very dirty. Picture number two, people don't throw waste in the trash bins. Picture number four, the rate of air pollution is increasing every day. And then we have people destroy the forest and the wildlife. So this is the situation of environment in my city. Now I need to come up with some suggestions that will help in protecting the environment. Again, I'll give you these, uh, these pictures, pause the video and come up with some ideas about suggestions to protect environment in your city based on the pictures that you see in front of you now. Pause the video for a second and try it yourself. Good. So number one, put more trash bins in every street in the city. Two, create more green areas in the city. Three, encourage people to use bicycles on weekends. And then sensitize people about the dangers of pollution. Now we have all the information we need to write our formal letter. We have 
uh, ideas about the situation of environment in our city, we have some suggestions that help or that will help in protecting the environment. Now all we need is to organize these ideas in a formal letter. So this is again the layout of a formal letter. You can pause the video and maybe go back to these ideas and write your formal letter to Greenpeace International Organization about the situation of environment in your city. You can use all the ideas that you have in these pictures. Now I'll give you an example of this uh, formal letter. So over here I should have the name Mr. Simo Bujame. Here I should have the address 99 Marrakesh, Morocco. Here I should have the uh, date 25th March 2020. And here I should have the receiver's address. The task says write a letter of complaint to Greenpeace International Organization. So here I should have the address of Greenpeace International Organization. Greenpeace headquarters, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Over here I should have the greeting, for example, dear sir or madam. And then I can start my letter this way. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing this letter to complain about the situation of environment in my city. And this is the purpose of writing this letter. It's to complain about the situation of environment in my city. The situation of environment in my city is very bad because people do not understand the importance of a clean environment. First, the streets are very dirty because people do not throw waste in the trash bins. Besides, the rate of pollution is increasing every day. In addition, they destroy the forest and the wildlife. As you can see, all these ideas, I just take them from these pictures, which means I organize my ideas in the formal letter. They destroy the forest and the wildlife. For this reason, I suggest uh, you put more trash bins in every street in the city. Furthermore, I would like you to create more green areas and encourage people to use bicycles on weekends. I also suggest that you sensitize people about the dangers of pollution. And here I should have the closing of my letter. I can write, I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Over here I will do the signing off. Sincerely yours. And over here I should have my name, Mr. Simo. Bujama. So this is an example of a formal letter that I wrote to Greenpeace International Organization about the situation of environment in my area. I also have some suggestions that may help in protecting the environment in my area. So here we come to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck.